Back again. Today we're doing exercise not on a bicycle and then doing exercise on a bicycle. But first, 5k run. This is going to be my first ever official 5k run. So all over the UK you have these park runs, Saturday morning, loads of different locations all happening at the same time. I think you can do 2k or 5k, today we're doing the 5k one because I think I can finish that. Although my leg's going to be very sore and Daisy's won't be because she's nicely conditioned and shampooed. You know why you keep saying I'm conditioned? You are. I'm not. You've done a million runs. I haven't. He's lying to you guys. But I am enjoying it and I think that's the main thing so. That is the main thing with everything in life. Currently I am still enjoying this. We'll see if that's the same in 10 minutes time. Last little bit now. You're on the record setting pace. Only for like that last couple of minutes but yeah. It's nice when you don't feel like you're going faster and then you realise that you are because it means that you're actually doing better I think so. Doing so good. But my eyes are a bit like yeah, same. Oh, I need a drink. I'm in awe of the guy who uh, is in first place. He came past literally doing three times the speed of us. Ridiculous. He was also so smooth. Look what he won. That's well good. 507, 37 minutes, 24. PB for Daisy. Isn't it such a weird coincidence that every one of these volunteers is called Marshall? Daisy, I'm doing a reverse triathlon today. So now I'm heading to Backyard to pick up my new bike, which I still can't show you, which has had some work done to it. Switching the brakes around. And then I've got to cycle it home. So that's the cycling bit. And I have a shower. And that'll have... be the, the swimming bit of the triathlon. Reverse why, triathlon. Why don't you have a bath? Have a bath. I'll be like going to sleep. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go have a bath. All in all, a fantastic experience. Thank you Park Run and all the volunteers for hosting that. That was great fun. I can't believe how many people turn out. There must have been 150 people more every Saturday. I guess it's it's a bit it's a bit like bike racing. You don't realise these things go on until you're in the world. Like all these cyclists meeting up at the weekend to do a bike race in the middle of Surrey Hills or Kent or wherever it may be. Loads of set up and then the event goes on and it's just torn down and there isn't a trace left and nobody knows that it's happened. We'll do that again. Cool. How much money's worth of stuff is that? I don't know, but it's worth every single penny, mate. How do you say it? Nipex. 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 They just work better. I mean, I've got a whole drawer of previous Park Tool ones that I used to use, cable cutters, that they wear out eventually, obviously, but it's just these are, everything is better. I was thinking of doing a video with like unnecessary bike stuff that cyclists want but don't need, and these are <laughs> top of the list. Nipex, cable cutters, pliers, they're anything with kind of handles on that you squeeze things with. They're literally 50 quid each or more. But what was the RRP on these? They're mole grips. Mole grips, yeah, but they've got They'll a rubber be expensive. Yeah. You've got a special rubber on, yeah. Well, it's because if you want to grip anything, it's under titanium. You can't grip anything small of that because it's not even. Cable cutters, mini bolt cutters, side cutters for brake hose. You don't. You can use one to do all of it, but obviously it's, it's more fun buying tools. I love buying tools, so I'm obsessed. <laughs> Loads of random stuff that you never ever ever need. Compact Nolo over torque BB tool. Only used it twice, but ever. Most shops need to rent it from. You should start renting that out. Yeah, Fifty pound a day. I'm gonna sell it. We don't want to do them anymore. But yeah. The one tool nobody needs, but everybody wants, is the Ceramic Speed BB tool. This fits in obviously Shrams, GXP, Shimano, Holotech, but it's got different size inserts that you can swap around, so it doesn't. I'm not explaining this very well. Literally, this is like the most boring thing ever. Yeah, yeah I hope some of you mechanic guys enjoy this. Sad people. Is that it? Is that oh, honestly no. demonstration? Great. <laughs> Trust me, that that's what you need for your workshop. A mech hanger straightener that can go past the mud guards. That's not my bike. It's gonna make you go loads faster though. Legs feeling a little bit tender after that run. Good job it's uphill all the way home. And I've got a massive bag with me. I'd left this bike, which I picked up from Italy at Nick's shop for a few days. Switched the brakes around in preparation for the video, which I will be dropping on it and revealing the whole thing. But I need to like synchronize it with a Villiers drop of the same video. You know what? Legs actually feel good. Different muscles. Shared path, by the way. Better than the road, safer than the road. Crap surface though. And trees as obstacles. 
What the hell? Massive dog just ran out in the middle of the road, stopped all the cars. What is going on? To who it may concern, it is the Atticus party this evening to celebrate Christmas, even though it's not Christmas. But it would be silly having a work party on Christmas Day. Daisy, you're looking very smart and I'm wearing pajamas. Basically, the rules have not changed yet. They're meant to change on Monday, but because the party is inside, we thought it would be safer to have everyone do a test because of- A maths test. Omicron. And actually, one of our mates, Chris, has actually got COVID, so it's just proven that we're doing the right thing. Chris Hall? Chris Healy. Okay. Hello, it's going to start so in the order. So just in case people were concerned, we have two, I was about to say positive, negative tests. <gasps> for COVID. Yay, we don't have COVID. I wouldn't have bothered putting my makeup on if they were positive. So the current situation is we are waiting, eating pretzels that we prepared for Lou and Rob, who are supposed to be coming here soon to eat some pretzels with us. But I don't think there's gonna be any left because where are they? And then we will leave in an hour and go to the party. I get drunk and then everyone will come in. Ooh, Daisy's so drunk. Oh. What is that noise? It's making that noise again. Just to explain that nonsense we were just talking about, there is a weird noise that every time I clean my mountain bike, comes from the butt. Can, can you hear this? I reckon it's a problem. Hit the subscribe button. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Leave loads of comments and stuff. Yeah, that bit. Yeah. Thank you so much for hosting a party to celebrate Jesus' now birthday. Now we host Josh after Life. this. My birthday? No, Jesus. I am Jesus. Oh! oh controversial. <laughs> it is. Let me Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can't mention Covid because then you'll get a strike. Covid, 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 Covid!